Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, guys, today I have created one simple weekend project. I'm sure this will be gonna helpful for the community to convert your automation code from one tool to another tool. Okay, so you can just find this uh, tool on my website, naveenautomationlabs.com, code-converter.html. I'll share this URL in the description and the first comment of this video as well. Uh, I have used uh, AI here. Uh, internally, I'm using the Cloud AI artifacts to uh, create this particular uh, tool. What you just need to do, you just need to go to this site and then launch code translator. Okay, and then it will give you a very simple UI over here. It is like automation converter. And then you can just, uh, I have listed like around more than 20, 25 different types of frameworks. Selenium Java, Python, C Sharp, JavaScript, Playwright Java, Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, Playwright C Sharp, Cypress Projects, WebDriver, Puppeteer, Test Cafe, Robot Framework, APM, Java, Python, C Sharp, JavaScript, Catalon, and CodeCept also here. And then you can just convert into the respective different other automation tool. This is really helpful for your migration projects. This is very helpful if you really want to understand the similar kind of code will, how exactly it will look like in a you know, in a specific other automation tool or framework. For example, let's see, it's a simple Selenium Java project or Selenium Java code that I have written in the main method. This is a typical driver dot find element, driver equal to new Chrome driver and all those things. And then I really want to convert to, let's see, uh, playwright with the TypeScript. So how exactly it will work? Let's go to convert, click on this convert, and then it will give you the playwright TypeScript code here. You don't need to pay anything for this. It's absolutely free of cost. And you will see that, okay, it is almost like 100% or 99 to 100% times it works. And then automation convert, use Cloud AI to translate test automation code between frameworks. Remember, results may require manual review and some adjustment for your specific test environment. Okay, but this will give you the test code over here. So let's do some experiment, do check a couple of important things over here. For example, let's see, this is my right panel links. This is my Selenium code. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm just going to paste it over here. Okay. And then I really want to, this is my Selenium Java and I really want to convert to the playwright TypeScript code. So let's convert it and let's see. And then I'll try to run it also from the Visual Studio code that this code that they have are given to us it's really working or not so you can use it any example okay let's see for example google language links let's take a simple example you see that here see it's exactly converting the code here in the typescript okay let's try some other example so let's see i'm writing google.com and driver.find elements and then writing a for loop and printing the text of each and every link on the page and let's see is it really working or not i mean it's converting into the playwright typescript code or not and then here you see that, yes, I'll just do one thing. I'll just copy this entire thing from here and then uh, come back to my Visual Studio code, which is over here. I'll just copy paste the script here. And then I just simply try to run it if you really want to run here. Okay, so I'll do one thing. I'm just going to run it from here. Let me run it. It is working fine. Then, um, then let's see. Okay, so you see that, okay, it's running in the headless mode. And it's giving me all the language links over here. This is perfectly working fine here, right? Just like that, you can just check with the uh, other things also. Let's see if I really want to convert into uh, Playwright with uh, Java. So Playwright with Java also, it will convert. So Selenium Java to Playwright Java. And then it will take some time. You see that, okay, let's click on convert code. Within a few seconds, you will get the equivalent playwright java code now you see that okay this is the equivalent playwright java code i hope you guys can see that here it's launching the chromium.launch and new page google.com and then later on if you really want to adjust your script according to your scenario you can do that here but here you see that okay page.locator the expert it's using it getting the count writing the for loop and perfectly working fine here in the playwright we have all text contents method instead of uh, find elements method so you can easily get the text of each and every link and writing a for loop and printing it on the console. Perfect. So this is also absolutely working fine. If you really want to convert, let's say Selenium Java to something else, Selenium Python, just click on that and then convert the code to Selenium Python. So let's see how exactly the Selenium Python code is getting converted over here. So you see that, okay, this is your Selenium Python code here. 
So for quick reference, for quick learning point of view, if you really want to see the equivalent Java code to some other uh, language or uh, a specific tool to some other specific tool, you can easily do that. Let's take a couple of more examples. For example, let's take better example. Let's say this is the iframe handle. We know that, okay, in Selenium, we have to switch to that particular iframe. See, I'm launching this application first of all, and then I'm waiting deliberately thread dot sleep also switching to the iframe and then entering the value, then coming out of the default content and then printing the header of the page. So I say, okay, fine, let's do that. It's really working or not. So let's see that Selenium Java to the playwright with the TypeScript. So let's see how exactly it works in the playwright. Also, we have the iframe handling. So it's giving me the page waiting for three seconds. If you don't want to use it, you can remove it. The three seconds wait unnecessary. And then it says that, okay, first you get the frame by using the frame locator, frame dot locator, entering the value, come to the main page. is giving me a message also that no explicitly switch needed in playwright as we are back to the main page context. Why? Because in the playwright, you don't need to use the default content here. Okay. So let's see, is it really working or not? So I just copy this, go back to my Visual Studio code and then paste it over here. It's not giving me any error. And let's see, is it really working? or not so although it's giving me this async function and then uh, using the main in the launch what i have given in the launch i have not given the headless is equal to false so let me write it here because we are writing without test method let's try to run it again and then it will start opening the browser also for me so now you see that okay it's launching the chromium and uh, see this it will do the exactly same thing that selenium was doing and it's clicking on this particular image and then Test automation got entered over there and giving me the vehicle registration form as a header also after that. See, we are printing the header. And after that, browser is getting closed without any problem. So a script is absolutely working fine here. Perfect. So <clears throat> I have already tested like a couple of scenarios. Almost everything is working fine. It's giving me the accurate uh, result. Here and there, some tweak you can do that or some changes if you really want to do. You can just simply do that. Let's try a couple of more examples. Let's try something with respect to, I really want to know with the actions class, there is a really good example. Let's see actions with the tab sequence that also we can do it. Action with the scrolling also we can do it. Actions and keys with the pause. Okay, let's see that one. So, or let's see with the tab sequence. I really have this method and uh, I'll just copy from main method. So here, what are we doing? We are going to launch this application. There is a registration form. And then we are entering something here, let's say Sachin or Naveen or whatever. And then we are giving the five seconds of wait, tab, enter the value. Again, tab, enter the email. Again, tab, enter the uh, value here in the next field here, like that. And then we are not using any locator for last name and email ID and for other things. And then by using the complete tab sequence, clicking on tab and then pressing the enter, like keyboard event I'm passing. And then finally, action.perform. So here we are using the object of actions class. So let's see how exactly Playwright works here, right? So let's simple go back to here and uh, I'll just copy this thing again, make sure Selenium Java to the Playwright TypeScript code, convert the code here. If you are using Playwright with Java, you can convert the code into any language and then you can select the value from the dropdown. So multiple options are available here. Okay, so this is the test method that they have given. Now let's see what happens here. So I simply go back to my uh, Visual Studio code, remove this thing from here and see this is the entire code is generated here. Okay. So first name instead of dot type, I'll write dot fill here. So fill the value here like such in and let's see, is it really working or not? Okay. So this is a test method. I can directly simple run it from here also. And uh, okay. Let's run it from here. Okay, so browser is getting launched. You see that. And uh, it should follow the tab sequence and it should enter the value. Can you see? Tabbing and then entering the value. Tabbing, entering the value, privacy policy, check and click on continue. So this is absolutely working fine here. This is really cool, right? So you can just use anything other language also. Let's see. I really want to use Playwright with the C sharp. So Playwright with the C sharp also you can use it and you can a try with the C sharp also here and then click on convert code. So let's see playwright with the C sharp is coming or not. So 99 accuracy is there. 99% accuracy is there. It will give you the accurate result 
in the specific tool and the language that you have used see this headless equal to false and everything that i have used it over here and then it's perfectly working fine same thing if i really want to generate let's see the same code with the cypress with the typescript so let's see cypress code also coming correctly or not i don't have any cypress uh, available in this particular system but uh, you can also check this is the equivalent code in the cypress with the typescript let's see what happens so it will be like very easy for you to see the equivalent code in a specific tool or language whenever you're doing some migration you just copy your method here copy your logic here and then see the code is really getting generated or not you see that okay in the cypress it is like this in the cypress we use cy dot right cy object and then dot get method and cy dot visit and everything it's perfectly working fine with the proper tab sequence here nice very nice right and the good thing is that i have given the option let's see for the robot framework also so let's see tomorrow you have to work with this is a project you have to migrate to the robot framework robot framework is a keyword driven framework so you can pick the robot framework also that is what so i have given here and then you can use this particular code to the robot framework as well okay you can take let's see we can take one more example for the robot framework but let's see some other example okay so let's do one thing let's see google language links and this example i'll use it with the robot framework okay but here first of all you see that okay this actions class this is the robot class uh, robot framework in the robot framework we create this particular file right all the keywords and everything is coming over here so you don't need to worry about it you just copy this entire thing copy paste in your uh, uh, robot framework editor and then start using it that's it so easy to use same thing let's see now i'm using this particular code launching google.com with the chrome find elements get the size printed on the console one by one again robot framework i really want to convert so let's see how exactly the code is coming here so this is a robot framework is giving me see this get web elements by using this xpath get the length lock to console and using a for loop and close the browser amazing perfect it's absolutely working fine here same thing let's see if i really want to convert from robot framework to selenium java you have this particular migration from robot framework and now you have to use selenium with java or selenium with python that also you can do it here maybe we can take some example from here see this is the one file that they have given test suite dot robot file multiple test cases that they have written here i'll copy this thing and then come back over here i'll say this is the code that i want to convert first of all you have to pick what kind of code it is so this is using the robot framework so i'll use uh, the robot framework from here and i really want to convert to the selenium with java so give me the equivalent selenium java code here so let's see is giving me or not so here we have you see that okay some documentation resource test cases that they have given and one test case login with the login user with the password and denied login with the wrong password so one positive one negative test case they have given here let's see how exactly selenium java will look like here see whatever the uh, the description they have given the same description in the form of uh, comment they have given here and is giving me the code with the help of uh, j unit test cases and by default it will give you the j unit and before each after each and then see that two test cases are coming over here login with the a uh, correct password and login deny login with the wrong password over here perfect nice that is really good and these are the login keywords a kind of utility that they have given and you just need to implement the methods after that according to your application you can use it here so yeah this is nice it's perfectly working fine over here right so you can try to any other language also any migration there are number of options are available you can try with that right for example let's see again if i come back to this uh, once again let's take a simple example i just simple launch from here to here let's see by using this one and then this one that's it so i'm using this application creating the web element and that's it okay and then after that i can write the code also if you directly want to write driver dot close also i can use it here close the browser for me and then i really want to convert to and first of all this is selenium java code and i really want to convert to its let's see cypress we have already seen playwright we have already seen see i have added web driver io also so you can use web driver io with the typescript if you are working with that that also you can do it so what is the equivalent web driver io uh, typescript code it will look like this so this is the web driver io with the ts same thing if i really want to convert to the 
uh, multiple other things. See robot framework, test cafe also I have added, puppeteer also I have added if you are having test cafe puppeteer, not much useful, but robot framework, APM Java also I have written. Let's see how exactly it will look like in APM Java code. So Selenium Java to APM Java, I really want to launch this thing in the specific uh, device using APM. So on the mobile devices also, you can use it here. And this giving me, see that adding all the desired capabilities using the Android emulator, this one, and whatever the device name or in the platform that you really want to use, you can change it here. And then after that, this is your Chrome driver path and then entering the Android driver, creating the object of the Android driver, and then perfectly working fine is giving me driver dot find element by ID, giving me the mobile element over here. So yeah, APM Java also working fine here, right? Catalan Studio, that also I have added. So let's see how exactly the exact code will look like in Catalan Studio. And then, or Catalan to Selenium Java also, also you can use it here. So let's see in Catalan how exactly it will look like. Okay, so it's converting the code, giving me the import and everything. And then you see that, okay, here it's giving me the first name is this one and the web UI dot close. And uh, what is this? This is the object XML. Do we really need that? No. This is something we can improve it, but up to here, it's absolutely working fine here. This is a test object XML. You can ignore it here. All right. So this is like really good. You can use it. And then try this tool. If you have any issues or something, feel free to add in the comment section. I'll keep improving, keep adding more enhancements over here. And a couple of enhancements, I'll do it in the upcoming release. But uh, it's available here at this location. I mean, I've already hosted on my website, codeconverter.html. Just go to naveenautomationlabs.com forward slash code hyphen converter.html. And then after that, you simply launch it. It will open a new tab. Or if you are not using cloud, it will ask you to sign up. You just do a free sign up with your Gmail account. And then after that, accept the license agreement and everything. You don't need to pay anything for that. And just start using it here. That's it. Okay. And any improvements are there. Definitely, I'll keep improving here. So start using it and let me know in case of any issue. This is just for the community. And you don't need to pay any single penny for this, guys. Thank you so much.